All right, guys, the wait is finally over. The official details and animations for the upcoming Dokkan Fest. Actually, not just Dokkan Fest, but apparently Carnival exclusive Gamma 1 and uh, Gamma 2 from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie are now available. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down everything you need to know about these guys to give you guys a uh, good idea of what to expect from this release. Okay, so uh, of course we'll start here with the animations first and I've somehow managed to stay away from uh, all spoilers aside from you know watching the actual movie of course but uh, people seem to be pretty impressed with what they see so you will be getting my live genuine reaction right now. I'm definitely expecting some good things so without further ado Let's get it. All right, so apparently I was spoiled because, I, like I said, I watched the movie, and this is literally the movie, um, which I guess, like, I shouldn't have expected anything else, right? Like, that's what they've been doing. They've been just literally taking the exact source material and making it in this Dokkan style, which I think most of us are okay with, because that's why we love the characters, right, from the movie or from the show. So, uh, yeah, these guys look incredible. These guys look absolutely incredible, man. Uh, I love the interest animations. Super badass, although for the most part, I probably won't be turning them on just because it takes too long to like watch them every time. But at least for the first couple of days, you know, I'll see this a lot. And yeah, they're sick. And then the actual Super Attack animations, very, very smooth, man. I mean... Oh, they got the uh, the nullification animation too, which I love, especially for Gamma 1. I love the way he just like, the way he rises is sick. So um, yeah, quality animations, guys. Uh, quality animations. I mean, it's exactly what I expected as far as quality goes. I expected nothing, uh, nothing less, right, than the best quality animations for these guys. And that's exactly what we got. That's exactly what we got. Now, one thing that is clearly missing and uh, leads me to be even more confident in the fact that these are not the, you know, final Gamma 1 and 2s we'll get is that we didn't get the, uh, you know, that final, well, spoilers, but that final attack um, at the end against Cell Max, right? Like the crazy, like, you know, dive attack. Like, we didn't get that. So um, that's definitely going to be for an upcoming Gamma unit in the future. Uh, probably a joint forces one, I would guess, like an LR maybe, so, um, you know, we didn't get the most hype animations possible, but these are still great. These are still wonderful. So, that's all I'm going to say about it for now. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about, you know, the animations we just saw, but let me just uh, turn the music back on, and let's move on. Let's move on to the kits now, because I'm sure that's why... A lot of you guys came here so first things first a big shout out to 
the homie Goresh, of course, for uh, providing the translations. As always, he was very quick with it. I think he dropped them less than 30 minutes after the details came out on the JP Twitter account. So, um, yeah, thank you to Goresh for this. And let's start with Gamma 1. And I'm gonna just hide real quick so I don't block anything. There we go. So, uh, Gamma 1, Calm and Collected Hero, leader skill is Movie Heroes or Artificial Life Forms, Category Q plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP, Attack, and Defense plus 30% for characters who belong to the Accelerated Battle and Worthy Rivals categories. Okay, entrance animation, uh, the line is, if you're going to get in my way, then so be it. I am a superhero. Nice. Super attack. Gamma Blaster raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is a hero's duty. Activates the entrance animation upon entry once only. Attack plus 50%. And guard activated against all attacks for four turns from entrance animation activation. And then attack and defense plus 150%. Gains an additional attack plus 100% when launching a super attack and then attack and defense plus 20% and damage reduction of 10% for each attack received up to a max of attack and defense plus 100% and damage reduction plus 50%. That's crazy. 50% damage reduction on top of all the attack and defense he's getting of course from the rest of his passive is uh <laughs> is, is quite good. And then gains a medium chance to uh, perform a critical hit for the rest of the battle once five or more attacks have been received, and all allies, key plus one, and defense plus 30%, great chance of evading enemies unarmed super attack and countering with tremendous power. Um, Lynx, Android Assault, Cold Judgment, Re Red River and Army, Shocking Speed, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, and Fierce Battle and categories are Movie Heroes, Android Special Pose, Accelerate Battle, Worthy Rivals, Artificial Life Forms, and Defenders of Justice. Okay, so, uh, overall, I would say Gamma 1 is really, really good, guys. I mean, the main thing I'm kind of focusing on is the 50% uh, damage reduction, which is going to make him insanely, insanely tanky, because I mean, just think about how much defense he's getting otherwise, right? I think he should be like, I mean, I would guess like 400k plus defense, right, without the damage reduction. Um, and then you add in, you know, raising the defense on his super. You know what, once he's fully built up, and then with a super, he's probably at like 500k defense, I would guess. And then you add the 50% damage reduction on top of that. So he's not going to be really taking any damage on like anything. You know, maybe Cell Max can like touch him a little bit, but uh, <laughs> for the most part, when he's built up, uh, his defense will be top, top tier. Like one of the best tanks in the game, no question. And on top of that, he's getting some good attack. He's getting that, that crit chance for the rest of the battle after five to, uh, five attacks have been taken. He's getting a little bit of um, support as well. The keep plus one and 30% defense is uh, nice. And then, of course, the great chance of evading unarmed super attacks and countering with tremendous power. That's huge as well. So, uh, Gamma 1 is a complete unit, guys. The Gamma 1 is absolutely a complete unit the only complaint i would have about him is that his links are kind of niche right you got kind of a weird mix of links although if you link him up with the gamma 2 then it doesn't really matter right because gamma 2 has a very similar uh link set i think these guys are, uh, these guys are definitely meant to be run together so yeah gamma 2 is awesome let's move on to gamma 2 or sorry did i say gamma 2 Gamma 1 is awesome. Let's move on to Gamma 2 now and uh, compare him to, to Gamma 1. So, hiding once again, Gamma 2, Fearless Hero, Leader Skill, Movie Heroes, or Android, or Special Pose categories, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP Attack and Defense plus 30% for characters who belong to the Accelerated Battle and Worthy Rivals category. Interesting. So, Instead of two categories, Gamma 2 actually gets three categories, although Special Pose is, uh, as you guys know, a pretty niche category as well, so it's not like a huge addition, but three categories versus two is still great. That does make him a better leader, I guess, in a sense, than Gamma 1, so advantage Gamma 2 for the leader skill. 
And then, uh, Entrance Animation, I'm Dr. Hedo's greatest masterpiece, and I'm a superhero. Okay, good to know. Super Attack, raise the attack defense for one turn, causes immense damage, same as Gamma 1. Uh, passive, Proof of a Hero, activates the Entrance Animation upon entry, once only. And then Defense, plus 50%, and performs two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance to become a Super Attack for four turns from Entrance Animation activation. And then attack and defense plus 150%, gains an additional attack plus 100% when launching a super attack, attack and defense plus 20%, and chance to perform a critical hit plus 10% for each attack performed, max of attack and defense plus uh, 100%, and chance to perform a critical hit plus 50%. Performs an additional attack, that's a great chance to become a super attack for the rest of the battle once 5 or more attacks have been performed. And then all allies, key plus 2, and attack plus 30%, high chance to nullify key-based super attacks aimed at this character. Okay, um, well, let's go for the links. Innocence, Android Assault, Red Ribbon Army, Shocking Speed, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, and Fierce Battle in categories are Movie Heroes, Android Special Pose, uh, Accelerated Battle, Worthy Rivals, Artificial Life Forms, and Defenders of Justice. Okay, so how does Gamma 2 compare to Gamma 1? I would say at least based on what I consider to be great attributes of a unit, it's not as good. It's not as good. Now, offensively, I think it's pretty clear that he will be hitting harder than Gamma 1 because of the additional supers. I think he gets more attack as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does. So, he will be a harder hitter. He will be a much better damage dealer. But, his defense will be significantly worse significantly worse. He doesn't get the guard for the first four turns. He doesn't get the damage reduction. Um, he has less defense, just overall. And, uh... Yeah, I mean... It's clear that they made one offensive, one defensive, so I think that's fine. But, if I had to choose, like, which one I'd rather have, obviously I want both. That, that's, that's pretty obvious, right? Like, you want to get both so you can run them together, because they're meant to be run together, but... If you had to choose just one, choose just one, I think Gamma 1 will be a lot more useful for you on more events because, um, you know, in this day and age, right, defense is a premium. Defense is what's going to get you through the hardest events. No matter how hard you hit, if you if you can't survive hits, if you can't tank hits, then you're screwed either way, right? So um, I do like the, the design of Gamma, Gamma 1 more, I got to be honest. But Gamma 2 is... Uh, still gonna be good he's still gonna get good defense don't get me wrong it's just you know he's gonna have high defense without the damage reduction which means that on some of the hardest events uh he will certainly get get touched up a bit you know um but i mean if you run them together you can use slot, uh, gamma one as a slot one unit and then gamma two as a slot two unit and uh yeah i think it should be should be okay still defensively like it it might be a little scary in the harder events for sure, but, you know, his damage will be very, very good. So, <laughs> I'm not going to say it's not a good design. All I'm going to say is I do think that Gamma 1 is the superior unit. That's how I feel right now. Maybe I'll feel different once they drop. Maybe I'll feel different once I actually get to use them. But for now, we're just going off of the details on paper, right? And uh, that's my assessment of these two Gammas at the moment. Obviously, I want both. Obviously, they're both awesome. So, uh, hopefully, you know the summons go well. And by the way, the uh, the the units will be dropping. I mean, I think they're dropping on JP first, but I'm not 100% sure because you know they're supposed to drop on Global at the end of the month too. So, I mean, if there is a difference in release time, it must be only a week at most, right? So, this basically applies to all players, not not just JP players. And uh, yeah. Yeah, they're looking good. They're looking good, especially Gamma 1. Looking very, very good. Gamma 2, I think he's going to be fun to run with all the supers, all the damage, but um, I would have to give the advantage, I think, overall to Gamma 1 as the superior unit. But once again, just an early assessment, you know, just an early opinion. Maybe that'll change. We'll see. But uh, for now, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about both of the Gammas, um, their kits, as well as their animations, and, uh, 
yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Yo, I love this wind up the run. I like like that from from slow to fast. You know, just like the the build up. It's it's awesome. Um, what I say again? Like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, oh, hold on. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.